Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the uh, RAM in this Gateway PC. I forgot which model it was. It was a uh, model SX2851. So, or you could say uh, 2851. So, that's actually a more professional way to, of saying it for me. But anyways... Let's just get started by unscrewing the two Phillips head screws on the side. And these are some pretty moderate sized ones, so you, you'll want a nice uh, screwdriver size like this. So that you can unscrew it, not unless your computer doesn't have these screws. You can just open it up without a screwdriver. And this is the RAM right there. Can't really see it, but these two sticks, line thingies. And you just want to undo the little white thingies right here, the clips. So there are two on either. There's one on each side of the RAM stick. And there it is. It's so actually three RAM sticks. So this is the second one. And there's the last stick. There we go. And now that you have your new RAM, uh, you can just put it in. There's actually four sticks. It's just hiding underneath this thing, which I can't access right now. You know, just let's just remove it. So you want to remove this, unclip this uh, side thingy right here, and it just comes out. And you can leave it on the on the side, and then you can unscrew these screws right here, holding the DVD ROM and hard disk in place. Can, that just lifts out. Can disconnect the SATA cables for the hard disk and the SATA cables for the DVD ROM. And that just comes out. So now that you have access to your fourth RAM stick, you can just unclip it and there you go. So now that you've actually uh, got everything removed. You can put your new RAM, RAM inside, or upgrade RAM. I don't know what I'm talking about. And you can just put all these sticks back in these slots. It's pretty easy. There we go. Now you can get your DVD ROM drive and hard drive and reconnect it. So, yep. Why do they have to connect like this? Anyways, n now that it's uh, screwed back in, and now you can connect your DVD ROM drive in. Oh, what was that? Uh, that was nothing. So, and then you can connect your SATA cable. There we go. Now we can put that back in and screw in the two screws holding the DVD ROM drive and hard drive back in. There we go. Now you can just clip 
uh, these front panel on. And one thing about the front panel is this uh, wire right here. You have to tuck that into the hole before doing it because then it will not sit properly and it will be very annoying. So you might want to stand it up on the top here because there are two clips that you put like that, like a door, and then it'll just clip right back on. I know I didn't demonstrate that very well, but you should get the point. And if you don't, I'm very sorry. So, But anyways, uh, now that that's done, we can just put the front cover back on. And there we go. Now you can screw in the two screws holding the side panel in place. There we go. And now that that's done, your PC is ready to go and it is upgraded and hopefully faster. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.